Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes E-Class, then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's an E-Class 2.1 E220 CDI SE 7G Tronic Plus. 2013 on a 13 plate, has done 91,450 miles. Fuel economy, urban 44.1 miles per gallon, extra urban 60.1 miles per gallon, combined is 52.3 miles per gallon has a 0 to 60 time of 8.6 seconds, a top speed of 134 miles per hour, out of 175 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. Six months road tax is 99 pounds and 12 months is 180. It has 18 inch AMG, five twin spoke, dark silver alloy wheels which uh, we've just had refurbed so it looks really really nice front parking sensors the chin spoiler the big mercedes whoops big mercedes emblem there and the little one in the middle of the bonnet just in case you forget um side running lights power folding door mirrors and uh the obviously fold out again when you you get back in the car the chrome window surrounds aluminium roof bar carrier system here rear privacy glass integrated rear tailgate spoiler power open power closed tailgate good idea when the tailgate flips up so does the rear load cover makes it easier for uh, loading nice low floor nice flat floor make a good dog mobile there's also a parcel net uh, stroke dog stopper <laughs> jumping over into the back seats there so uh, nice nice and animal friendly anyway rear parking sensors and here we've got the switch for the power close boot twin chrome exhaust tips too Plenty of room in the back, nicely finished with this checker plate aluminium, bags of leg room, I, I have put my suit uh, way forward uh, so I can get in without <laughs> making a noise and creaking and my bones cracking. The uh, rear central armrest here, you've got the rear child seat, Isofix anchor points, three inertia reel belts, the, the three headrests are the same, and then that, that parcel net there. This has also got Parktronic, so there's a, a sensor, well not a sensor, there's a display mounted in the roof here, so you can see from the mirror where you're getting close to an object and which side you're getting close to, um, so uh, you've no excuses. But plenty of headroom and uh, nice comfortable high backs, a real, real nice car to be a passenger in. fell victim to the child seats once again, but I'll just take you for a ride in it now. There we go, there's a Mercedes key. We have two of them. Um, you'll notice from the end, it's not a normal key, a traditional key. Uh, it's a transponder, so that's that. Just tell you the service history. 20th of 5th, 2014 at 17,000 miles, Mercedes-Benz Crawley. 3rd of the 6th, 2015 at 33,309 miles, Mercedes-Benz Crawley. 28th of the 7th, 2017 at 65,375 miles, Alveston Autos Limited. 31st of the 7th, 2019 at 74,863 miles, Affordable Car Service Centre, 10th of 7th, 2020, at 80,154 miles, Mertec Automotive, 8th of 2nd, 2022, at 83,139 miles, Mertec Automotive. And it's done 91,450 miles now, so um, 
we'll, we'll probably be giving it a service. I've got to say, driving up here, uh, the car drives absolutely lovely, um, very, very nice. It's also economical too. Uh, bearing in mind yesterday, Lance was giving it a clean, so it would be ticking over while he was doing it. And uh, I've not reset the trip counter. I've set off up here this morning, up the motorway, and it was it was showing uh, 42 miles to the gallon. But it's, having said that, it's been ticking over again now. It's down to 32.5 miles per gallon. But it's been ticking over here now while I've, I've photographed it. So that's brought it down. But, uh, it's one of those days, <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's a lovely car, it drives great, the gearbox is fantastic. Um, I, I'm, I always comment on the gear stick where the wiper, wiper switch should be and uh, it's one of those days today where it's just spitting, not enough to have your uh, wipers on full but occasionally for you just to tap it for the the quick wipe and of course me being used to uh, a different car all the time I, I knock it in neutral I'm going in drive knock it in neutral putting my wipers on you do get used to it I have used the Mercedes-Benz for an extended period of time and I did get used to it so nothing nothing for anybody to worry about but uh, you know if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Um, nice suspension, good engine, well built, very, very functional, purposeful. Say ideal, ideal dogmobile. Nice low load, jumping and out of the back there. I can't smell dogs in it, so I don't think it's been used as a dogmobile. In, in fact, I. Uh, it's uh, the seat bolt smells rather nice and it's not me so I, I assume it's uh, a lady's been driving it recently lots of sheep out today and they do do silly things just as you get close to them can I get <laughs> sheep, how stupid a sheep. That, there's grass as far as the eye can see, but that sheep wants to stick its head through the wire mesh to get the grass on this side of the, the fence. It's, uh, the grass is always greener on the other side. There you go, that sheep's proved it. So, I'll just switch this on. It, it will have my audio book on, so I'm going to turn it down. That's the sat nav. Next to Misty. Yeah. So um, what we need to do, if I flick that, and then up to the top, onto audio. I don't want my audio book playing, so click on there, and we'll just put it onto uh, auxiliary for the moment. So my I don't lose my place on the audio book. Sheepdog there. Lap wings. We'll just go back, knock that up to Navi. There you can see where we are. I've, to I've told this story before, but when I was a, a salesman at Mercedes-Benz, I, I, I joined a Mercedes-Benz garage. I'd been general manager of a garage, and I was, I was fed up of people coming to me with stupid problems that they couldn't sort out, which were a child could do. And I just wanted to... Uh, mind my own business for a while and I, I, I went to Mercedes-Benz got the job um, and 
Hang on, we're just coming up to a certain death corner here. We're getting close. Marco. No beeps coming back, I still don't trust it. Now we're around. Oh, only just. So, I started at Mercedes-Benz, and after, after I'd been there three months, the people were so horrible to work for. After I'd been there three months, I was the longest serving member of staff in the sales department. <laughs> and I, uh, well, the, the reason I was the longest serving, I was offered another job, and I went to the sales manager, who was a, my friend, uh, or reasonable friend, and I, I said, look, I just want to give you the heads up, because the other sales lads there at the time weren't that good. I just want to give you the heads up that I'm, I'm leaving, I've been offered another job. And he, he got up, went upstairs to the boss's office and quit. Um, any, anyway, I ended up uh, as sales manager and uh, had many uh, happy times there, although the people we did work for, as I say, they were horrible. Um, not nice at all, but we, we ended up with a great team. But the point of this story is that when I was a salesman, I had an AMG Mercedes C-Class and I loved it. And then when I was promoted to sales manager, I, I had the new, the new E-Class had just come out, the, you know, the frog eye one. And uh, I got, my car was, a, was an estate car. And of course I was quite a bit younger than I am now. And I thought my world had come to an end. I did not want to, I didn't, I didn't want the estate car so much so that I was going to quit. I, I just didn't want an estate car. And, uh, but fortunately we had another, we, we took on another lad who was really nice lad, very family orientated. And uh, he wanted an estate car. So he got the sales manager's car and I, I drove his round. And everybody was, lived happily ever after. Now, this Mercedes estate would be absolutely ideal for me. I could get all my photography gear in the back. You know, my mountain bike at weekends. Um, you go away for a weekend, plenty of room. It just shows you how your perspective changes. And especially at uh, you know, doing 40 odd miles per get to the gallon, it's, it's brilliant. Got cruise control on the side here. If you click the end of the switch in and knock it up, that's Speedtronic, so that's limited my speed. And, it, and I, if I put my foot down on the accelerator, it won't go any faster. So we'll click the end out again. And then if I click it up, that's cruise control selected. So there you go, I'm not uh, touching the accelerator. And as usual, I've done it just as we're coming into a 90 degree left. <laughs> and the, the cruise is on. Nice steering wheel. On the left hand side here, this controls your information display in the center. If I just knock it sideways, it brings up trip, navi, audio, And that, that's the distance warning that kept lighting up on the way up here on the motorway. You leave a space between you and the car in front and somebody overtakes you and, and drops in into the space when there was like a mile behind you. And it, and it, it beeps and goes red. It's absolutely lovely around here. Heated seats, air conditioning, that's the heated seat there. You've got, this is a stop start vehicle, so that's stop start off. That's your equivalent of a BMW i control, and to be fair, I think BMW invented it first, so. 
there you go and you can just move along like so just get it to the, the top select or the four buttons at the side here just got somebody in the road here couple having a walk so there you've got the real clock there and then you've got a picture of it there exactly the same time and then consumption so if I knock that across there it shows you there and it, as I was saying miles per gallon uh, that must have been on the motorway there that that's up towards 80 you, you never get 80 but you know it, it certainly looks good and at least you know you, you're doing well that heated seat's warming up here we've got if I click that that knocks it into sport as you can see it's well fast enough just knock it back into economy there sport and economy just from that switch there you've got paddle shift on the steering wheel here there we go I can change down there so you can use it as a manual change up on the right your gear selector there when you stopped clicking the end that puts it in park reverse you knock up as if you were turning left and drive you knock down as if you were turning right here we've got the power folding door mirrors you've also got to just check look make sure they work that's left right up and down that's that's working and then left right up and down but, uh, that camera went off before for no reason it wasn't even too hot <laughs> I've had a break for about three weeks we've been setting up um, the CCTV at work and I've set up an interactive webcam which I'm streaming to YouTube it's, it's amazing how many people like to see what's going on at the garage I have got an interactive uh, webcam that you can uh, control and actually look around the forecourt yourself I've not decided whether to completely make that live to customers because if you get more than 10 people on it and they're fighting for control it, it, it it's a mess um, so I've just set it to patrol around the forecourt and when I get time I, I will um, fine-tune it there's a couple of teething problems at the moment but mostly positive comments and there's people I'm just trying to think where, where they've been watching somebody from Australia um, someone from Malaysia India <laughs> obviously we want people to watch it who are going to buy cars off us but even so I, and also I, I Rio link the, the people who make the cameras that I bought I bought them myself I researched the ones I wanted decided on Rio link um, I wanted to specifically stream to a web page and uh, I asked them a couple of questions anyway they've, they've, they've obviously taken a shine to me and they're sending me another camera to test so um, although it's not kind of a paid promotion site the uh, have a look at the cameras I've, I've got three different types and we'll be getting more and hopefully I'll, I'll get to test more real link um, CCTV cameras but uh, it's, it's a godsend for me I can I can watch it off my phone or I can have it on the TV at home stream it to the TV or my computer it tells me when there's a car pulling up or there's somebody you know a, a human being walking on the the forecourt and I can actually communicate with them if I want I, I can talk to them and they can talk to me so that's what I've been doing I'll, I'll try and remember to put a link in although at the moment it, it's a live stream and it, it does change so one link at the moment won't uh, get you straight back in but uh, keep a lookout for that anyway 
The electric windows are here, it's got electric seats, so that's uh, electric seats up and down, the seat rest, the sorry, the seat back rest, electrically controlled. If you want to move your seat forward and back, then that's a little lever on the left hand side here. You slide forward and back there. Also, if, rather than use this, which I actually prefer, I mean, Navi's there, do it. It's uh, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, ah, the, the parking, Parktronic. Let me just see if I can just find something to, uh, there's nothing behind us. So we'll slow down. You see there, or hopefully you can see from here. There you go. That's warning me. I'm, I'm getting close to that post, and it's indicating it's on the left hand side. Oh, is it a car coming now? Indicating it's on the left hand side, because if you just got parking sensors and it's beeping, and you can't actually see, you know, there's a low wall or something, you don't really know whether it's the, the front or the back. So with a with the Mercedes system, it shows you how close you're getting to with these lights, and also in the, I, I can see the one mounted in the roof for the reversing sensors. Those two are just gonna meet at that narrow spot there. Yeah, they have done. Not as narrow as, as this humpback. So it's a nice tidy car, it belies its miles, it drives as good as any 20,000 mile car. A nice price range of your state if you've got uh, you know, a family car, take the kids to school, and it still looks pretty stylish too, good, good weekend car, hobby car, get everything in the back. Going to slow down here because certain death corner too. If you if you're watching uh, on YouTube, I'm still blown away. We, we've got. 25,000 followers I think and 25 million views that's just on one channel overall well over 30 million views and yesterday a, a, a guy came to the cabin and uh, I recognized him immediately he, he just looks exactly the same as he did 50 years ago when I, when I first met him at a, a garage I was working at and he had a Jensen interceptor only a young lad obviously then 50 years ago and uh, I think he had a Rolls Royce first he was a young lad but he liked all the stylish cars and uh, yeah he had a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow which was mint and then he sold that and bought a Jensen Interceptor which was also mint and uh, yeah <laughs> He'd seen, he'd seen the videos on YouTube and he called to ask us to get him a Range Rover and to be fair there's just no higher praise really than somebody coming after watching a few videos uh, I mean and, and asking you to go and buy a car for us or for them sorry and uh, it, it just it blows my mind we do only try and sell good cars. F things go wrong, as I always say, things go wrong uh, with modern cars. We can't make them better than new. We try to do as much as we possibly can to make sure nothing goes wrong. Uh, but, you know, it's like trying to hold the sea back these days. There's, there's just too much in cars. So, 
have a look at our website, see if there's anything you like. We've got lots of good cars in, three or four discoveries, three Range Rovers, two Mercs, three, four BMWs, three Audis, all good cars. And uh, give us a try. I'll finish the uh, test drive there. As I say, nice car. I think this is le leather. I'm not sure whether it's leather or Artico. They both look pretty much the same, but uh, one's a lot more expensive. Nice car. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.